Hello, Outpour East here, Outpour Doors, everything fishing, everything outdoors. And today, we're gonna be taking a look at a couple knives. Um, the first knife we're gonna be taking a look at is the Joker Bushcrafter. And look at that, it's gorgeous. If you're thinking about getting one of these, I mean, pull the trigger. Scales are fantastic. Check that out. Gorgeous knife, made in Spain. Full tang, obviously. I'm jumping there. Decent guard. Holding your hand really well. Um, I don't have the smallest hands in the world, but uh, about average. <laughs> it's, it's a really, really nice knife. And the other knife we're going to be taking a look at today is the Joker Nesmuk. Gorgeous knife as well. Really ergonomic in the hands. This thing is thick, guys. I mean, if you know the guy, uh, if you know Nesmic, you know, um, George Washington Sears, a uh, fantastic um, bit of literature by him all over, but the most um, compressed version of it all is, uh, I think it's called Camping and Woodcraft, if you look that up. I actually looked it up on YouTube and I was able to listen to the whole entire book as an audio book. Um, and uh, it's really awesome. He speaks about his mindset on everything, on um, wilderness camping, um, hunting, trapping, fantastic. As you can see this knife has that Scandi grind, perfect for bushcraft, um, camp task. Not the best for, for uh, you know, food prep and all. But to be honest, I mean, if you have both of them, um, that would be great. Uh, a lot of people think I'm funny, but um, I like to carry two knives. And um, the two knives I usually have when I'm out, I have the Mora Garberg. These are the knives I use the most. Which is, you know, that Scandi grind. And then I have one of my favorite knives of all time, the SCPR4. So it's kind of, uh, you know, when I was when I was looking at these knives, obviously they're they're very different, but you know, it, it, it kind of gives you the best of all worlds here. You know, all of the knives, both of these knives have, you know, sharp 90 degree spines. Obviously, can can spark a ferro rod pretty easily. I also have a Joker Nomad, but I'm gonna leave that for another video um, because, you know, that that thing's that thing's a monster in itself. Just check out the attention to detail. That that's what I want you to look at in this video. To just the craftsmanship of these knives. And this is like a hundred dollar knife, guys. <laughs> it's um, it definitely doesn't feel that way. It doesn't feel like a hundred dollar knife. It feels like a custom knife. If you're thinking about purchasing them. Hopefully this video helps you get a visual of um, what you can expect from them. I will put the specs in the uh, comments, uh, I'm, the description, so I don't, you know, read them off and jack them up. Give the, the Scandi a try. This wood's a little, a little wet. Gorgeous. Not the best feather sticker in the world, but <laughs> I guess it done. But man, look at that. Just beautiful. Just slides through that. Gonna get you through some kindling. Look 
at that thick spine. <laughs> it's gnarly. Um, Nesbuk's knife would have not looked like this. Um, if you read the book, Nesbuk carried, he carried a knife like this. He carried a, a, a little folding knife. And he also carried a, um, a double bit hatchet. So like a, you know, a hatchet with like two edges, an edge on each side. This knife will shine uh, with the full, you know, the full flat grind. Um, this is gonna shine in your, you know, your food prep. You know, you're gonna really, it's gonna really do well. Still a bit thick, but you know, really, really awesome knife. I mean, they'll, they'll pretty much do any task you throw at them. I think both of them are excellent. I want to get this fire going. Let's go ahead and speak on this sheaf. These sheaves. The quality of these sheaves. I mean, what I can't really... What, what's making me so happy about these knives is the quality of everything. The quality of the scales, pinned scales, the quality of the knife, uh, stainless steel, I think it's 695, um, stainless steel. The quality, I mean, these came, both came with danglers. I think any of them you can get with um, a ferro rod, I'm not really sure, but I think you can choose, but look at that. On this sheaf, you know, the double stitching there. It's just, it's just beautiful. It came with this, um, this little piece of, um, cord here, which I usually add to my sheaths, and I didn't have to, because it came with it. It's just really nice. Let's get this fire going, get a cup of coffee, and then, and then I'll, we'll go, I'll give you my closing thoughts. My first impression on the knives, not a review, but, you know, it should give you enough information or visual information to, uh, make a decision whether you want to buy them or not. They're definitely quality knives. Another thing my knife has to be able to do is process small pieces of fat wood. And by that, I mean, you know, I like to have, I like my knife to be able to have a sharp enough spine, you know, to just make, create some, um, some fuzz, you know? And look at that, flawless, flawlessly doing what I needed to do. Mm, smells so good. That's what I need my bushcraft knife to do. I need that fuzz. Let's give the other one a go. Really, really awesome. Oh yeah, <laughs> this one feels even better. See, that's what I need right there. not that complicated actually um a decent bushcraft knife has to be able to you know get through wood pretty simply you know if you want to make um you know tent stakes or whatever whatever you want to do you have to be able to you know slice through wood and i think these both will do a great job I mean, this one has this curve, so I think this will be great for even, I mean, skin, skinning bigger game. Um, it is a bit thick for that, I think, but um, it'll do the job. To, to each its own, to each their own, man. Like, you choose your knife depending on what you want from the knife. You know, don't let anyone online, like, you know, say, oh, you need this knife because, you know, I love it. You know, you choose the knife that you want depending on what you do with your knife. You know, if and, and depending on your your you know the price point that you have to hit, all that stuff. 
is very important. You don't have to choose a knife just because someone else uses the knife, you know? But I think both of these knives are, are really great. Getting some little chips here for my, my fire. Yeah, they, they both really do the, this one. <laughs> oh yeah. They both really do the job, man. They do, they do what they're, they do what they need to do. And we both do it well. This fire's gonna go up. We'll use the, um, the bushcrafter to strike the ferro rod. Get the fire going. I'm gonna put that whole piece of fat wood in there. I need some coffee in my life. Oh yeah. Perfect. What more can you want? You know, what more can you want? This wood's actually a little bit wet, but it should be fine. I think these knives are excellent. Um, people say all the time, for the money. Oh, this is good for the money. I think these knives are excellent, just period. You know what I mean? I think you get a, a lot more than what you pay for, in my opinion. You know, and I, I have a lot of knives. I'll, I'll do a video showing all my knives. I've recently became a, a knife addict, but yeah, for what you pay for, man, I mean, I think it's a no-brainer. I think if you're thinking about pulling the trigger, pull it now. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the video. Outport East, Outport Outdoors, everything fishing, everything outdoors. Uh, God bless you guys today. If you guys are going through something that um, is, is not comfortable, I pray that um, his mercy is over you and he guides you through the situation. If you guys are on the mountaintop, man, I pray that you guys stay there for as long as you possibly can. And um, But prepare for the valley, though, because... You're either in a storm or you're preparing for a storm. So um, outpour your stuff outdoors, everything fishing, everything outdoors. Go out there and um, buy yourselves a joker knife. <laughs>